One UI 6.1 or better known as the Galaxy AI update is finally out for the Galaxy S23 series. I've got the S23 Ultra and this update actually brings a lot of cool features from the new S24 series. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So one of the best features this update brings are the widgets on the lock screen. As you can see, I've got the weather and the daily activity widget, which is basically a pedometer. Both of these are very useful. Now, the way you add widgets to your lock screen is by long pressing on an empty area, unlocking the phone and then tapping on widgets. And there are a ton of these to choose from. Like you can have the phone show you your upcoming events, alarm, pedometer and even the weather. You know what? This is why I love Samsung's One UI. There is just so much there to customize and play around with. And you'll also see the widgets on the always on display if you've got it switched on. So these are useful and awesome. This update also has a heavy focus on AI. So you also get something called generative wallpapers. So let's unlock the phone and then pinch in on the home screen and head on into wallpapers and style. Then we're gonna go into change wallpapers and here you'll notice something called creative. And this is where you can tell the phone to generate a wallpaper from text. Like let's do a painting and we will change this a painting of a jungle to something else like painting of a tropical island and nothing else and let's select the 19th century realist style and we will generate so yeah the phone will generate a wallpaper for you so there you go that is awesome now obviously the functionality is quite limited but it's still an awesome feature to have especially if you are crazy about wallpapers however that said i do prefer having a picture that i've taken myself as the wallpaper and if you want this picture that i've taken you can download this from the link in the video's description this update also brings instant slow-mo, so all you have to do is open a video in the gallery and then long press on the video and the phone is gonna give you a preview of the video in slow motion. I mean that is awesome. And if you want to convert the video into a slow-mo, you can head on into the video editor by tapping on the pen button and convert your regular videos into a slow motion video right from over here. Samsung has also brought the generative edit tool from the S24 series. So now whenever you edit your photos with the built-in image editor, you'll see this blue icon and tapping on this will open the image in the generative edit tool. Now here you can do a couple of things. First off, you can long press on an object and move them to anywhere you want in the photo. So we can pick and place the starfish over here. And once you tap on generate, the phone will analyze the image and fill in the empty space. So there you go. That is awesome. So this was before and after. Nice. And you can also use the same tool to get rid of any unwanted objects in your photo. So instead of moving them, tap on the eraser icon and then tap on generate. And the phone is gonna get rid of the object. You know what? This is such a powerful and a super useful feature. We can also use the generative edit tool to straighten crooked photos without the need of cropping them. And once again, the phone will fill in the gaps on the edges and it's just like magic. I absolutely love this. The AI saga continues in Samsung Notes. So after updating your phone, whenever you open a note, you'll see the AI icon down over here. And this allows you to auto format, which will automatically create headers and bullet points. And you can actually check out the different styles by scrolling like this. This is gonna be very useful. Next, you've also got the option of creating notes for a meeting. Then you can also ask the phone to summarize whatever you've written in a note, which I think is an awesome feature. So take a look. And next, you've got the spelling correction, which will correct any incorrect spellings. And you can even translate your note to another language. So these are the AI features that Samsung Notes has to offer. I absolutely love these. You can also change the tone of your notes or a message that you are typing using the Samsung keyboard. So when you open the keyboard, you'll see the AI icon right over here and tapping on this will give you the option to change the writing style. 
you've got professional which changes the tone of whatever you're writing to formal then you've got casual which will change the tone to informal then social which is perfect for posting on social media since it's even got hashtags and emojis so yeah you get the idea and lastly you've also got the spelling and grammar check which will well check the grammar and the spelling of whatever you've typed and you've also got the option to translate the chat into any language you want so yeah samsung has made a ton of improvements with one ui 6.1 Circle to Search has also made its way to the S23 Ultra. It's gonna come in very handy to search and purchase the item you're looking at. Now I'm using navigation gestures, so what I'll do is keep my finger in the middle right over here until the Google search panel comes up. And now we can circle on any object to do a reverse image search on it. You know what? This is gonna come in very handy at times. Now let's drop the quick panel and here in the quick settings you'll see a new button which launches a feature called interpreter. This is a voice and text translator which will come in handy if you want to talk to someone who doesn't speak your language. Like for example you want to talk to someone who speaks only in German so what you can do is in the bottom window set the language that you are gonna speak so here we can set English. And now in the top window, you can set the language the other person understands. So here we can set German. And for the convenience of the other person, we can flip this around. Now we can tap on the mic button in the source language window and the phone is going to translate whatever you are going to say into the language the other person understands. Hey, where can I find a restaurant here? Hey, wo finde ich hier ein Restaurant? and it will also play back the translated text. That is nice and the other person can also do the same which is tap on the mic icon and speak their language and the phone will translate it into English. So this is an awesome feature. I absolutely love it. They've also added real-time voice-to-voice translation for phone calls. So let's ring up this phone and I'll show you how it works. And by the way, the other phone can also be an iPhone or any Android phone. All of the processing will be done on your Samsung smartphone. All right, so while making or receiving a phone call, tap on Call Assist and select Live Translate. Hello. Now on your left, select the language the other person is going to speak. For demonstration, let's select German and on the right, pick the language you're going to speak and hear the translation in. So that's going to be English. And that is it. Now when you talk to the other person, Hey, how are you doing? Hey. They're gonna hear a translation of your voice into the language that they understand. And when they speak, Let's go. Let's go. You're gonna hear their translated voice and text. So this way you can talk to someone who doesn't speak your language. That is awesome, right? Now, before you start using these translation features, you'll have to go into the phone dialer and then tap on these three dots and then head on into settings. Tap on live translate and switch it on. Next, you want to download the translation language packs by tapping on language and downloading the different packs from over here. You'll also have to download the language packs for the other person. So tap here, download the appropriate language packs and select the language the other person is going to speak from over here. And lastly, you also have the option of muting your voice so that you or the other person only hears the translated voice. So yeah, this is an awesome feature and I absolutely love it. The audio recorder has also got a significant upgrade. Uh, by the way, I'm talking about the built-in Samsung voice recorder. If it's not there on your phone, you can always download it from the Galaxy Store. So now when you record an audio or open a previously recorded audio, you've now got the option to transcribe. And this will extract the text out of your audio. And this feature is so smart that it even recognizes different speakers. Then you can also view a summary of your transcribed audio which again uses AI and if you wish you can also translate your summary or the entire transcript into any language you want. So yeah this is a massive upgrade to the built-in audio recorder. 
Samsung has also added AI features to their web browser. So, when you're reading an article, you can tap on the AI button and ask the phone to create a summary of whatever you are reading on the web page. So, bam, there you go. Now, if you want a more detailed summary, you can tap on this button and ask the phone to create a slightly more detailed summary. And there you go. That is awesome. And lastly, you can also translate the web page. So these features are going to come in very handy. Now, some of the AI features that I've shown you have an online component. So the phone is actually transmitting your data and it's being processed on the cloud. Fortunately, there's a way to disable the online processing of your data for these AI features. So what you want to do is head on into the settings and then scroll down to advanced features. Inside, tap on advanced intelligence and scroll down and enable process data only on device. Now this is definitely going to give you more privacy. However, some of the AI features will stop working as they do require online connection. So keep that in mind. With that said, let's move on to the next set of features. Samsung's Quick Share has been merged with Google's Nearby Share. So now you'll be able to easily share photos, videos, and files with any Android smartphone. Yes, even the non-Samsung smartphones are also compatible like this Xperia from 2017. Alright, so tap on the share button and select quick share and you'll see the other Android show up over here. And this allows us to share files seamlessly between any Android smartphone. So there you go. And I can do the same from the Xperia onto my Samsung smartphone. So it works the exact same way. Now, if you don't see the other device visible in the share menu, you might want to go into the quick share settings and make sure that your phone is visible to other devices. Have you guys ever heard about Bluetooth AuraCast? Well, it's a new Bluetooth audio broadcast standard that enables audio transmitters such as your phone or a computer to broadcast audio to unlimited number of nearby AuraCast receivers like speakers, earbuds, or hearing devices. So what's new with this update is that the S23 Ultra can now start an AuraCast broadcast which is gonna allow you to broadcast audio from your phone to unlimited number of AuraCast receivers. To start an AuraCast broadcast, head on into the settings, then connections, Bluetooth, then tap on these three dots and then select broadcast sound using AuraCast. Set the name and password and then tap on start broadcast. So now anyone with your AuraCast password will be able to connect to your phone and listen to whatever you are broadcasting. Now, unfortunately, I cannot demonstrate this to you since I don't have an AuraCast capable receiver, speaker or earbuds, but yeah, this is supposedly how it works. You can now instantly translate text by pointing your phone at the text, tapping on the T button, and then selecting the text and finally hitting on translate. And there you go. So that is awesome. This feature is going to come in handy to translate signboards. The battery protection features have also been redesigned. So what you want to do is in the settings, navigate to device care, inside, tap on battery and then battery protection. And here you will notice that you've got three modes. One UI6 only had one where if you would switch on the battery protection, it would limit the maximum charge level to 85. But here you've got three. Let me try and explain what these actually do. So the basic option charges the battery to 100%, then stops until the battery level drops down to 95. And then once again, it will charge back to 100%. The adaptive option is the best because this will charge the battery to 80% while you are asleep and it will charge to 100% just before you wake up. So this is going to be very useful if you leave your phone plugged in overnight. And lastly, you've got the maximum protection which will always limit the maximum charge level to 80%. Ideally, you want to keep it on maximum protection, but sometimes 80% is not adequate. So in that case, you want to switch this to adaptive, which kind of requires you to switch on the customization service, which is going to collect even more data. So for now, I'm going to leave this on maximum. All right. So these are the major changes that the One UI 6.1 update brings to the S23 Ultra. 
And yes, there are smaller changes that I've left out because I want to limit this video to 15 minutes. So yeah, if you found this video to be helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I've got tons of content on Samsung smartphones. And this is Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.